Hello! Well, in this episode of Freeblog Brick Machining, we are going to make uh, the features into the scissors. Uh, uh, well, well, wait a minute. <laughs> to these things, uh, we are going to mill this uh, thing flat and uh, then to the arms uh, some uh, features at the ends. Well, that's one thing. And then uh, after that, uh, uh, we are going to make the tensioning uh, mechanism. Uh, and uh, then that's it for this episode, but uh, it's not over yet. Uh, so we start with uh, by the milling machine. So now, uh, uh, this workpiece needs to be attached uh, to this vise. Uh, well, I have here uh, some copper. <laughs> uh, this is copper foil. Uh, the thickness is uh, 0 0.1 millimeters. And I use this to even out uh, some uh, inaccuracies in these uh, surfaces. Then I have here two parallels, which I put here under. Well, I have been uh, choosing them already, so that they are suitable. And then I will put these uh, copper foils here and here. Hopefully they stay. Uh, my intention here is to level this surface here. There are some weldings and then we have... Uh, the thickness has uh, 0.3 millimeters extra. So... I put it here, hopefully they all stay in place, yes. And then I put the other one to the other side, but upside down. Uh, the only thing is that it levels uh, the vise, so that the vise isn't bent, uh, because I'm holding it at the other end of the vise. So now I check that this is tight, and they are now both tight. Wouldn't I have these copper uh, things here under? So uh, I tried it already. So uh, the other one would be loose and the other one would be tight. So there is a, some difference between those, uh, but not a lot. Then I tighten this vise. Okay, there you are. Now slowly. It has been really cold here. So the oiling system is, uh, I, I have to wait because it will actually be, be very slow at, at first, but it will speed up uh, after a while. So I need to leave uh, the power feed on and uh, then uh, we need to wait uh, maybe five minutes here.
this went uh, not entirely as I uh, <laughs> planned. I only took uh, 0.2 millimeters out, out of that. Parallels, under. Uh -huh. There you are. Okay, now uh, also this one is now leveled and uh, let's take them away from the vise. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> uh, 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 don't drop. Okay. Ah. So, now we should have uh, quite level surfaces here because now what I do, do next I will do this side how what's the thickness of this at the moment it should be a little bit over 8 millimeters probably 8.1 this is 8.12 okay that's good and this then Oh, there you are, 8.1. Let's scratch it then. Not that much. Those surfaces should be okay. Let's measure it. Yeah, two hundreds everywhere in four places. So, and now when these are put like that, so yeah, they meet exactly there in the middle. 
Okay, <coughs> this is now the setup for the next operation. So what we need to do is to take away nine millimeters even from this surface, this round surface, so that it uh, remains round. And uh, this is done uh, by rotating this uh, dividing head. And I have uh, slightly locked it because uh, there will be some uh, backslash issues. I'm sure of that. Not that much because I'm doing this way that I have an end mill up here. If I would be side milling, it would be way worse. So this is probably the best way to do this without uh, having issues with backslash of your... Because these dividing heads always have some backslash in them. So what I have done here, the, there is a bolt. And this is a long one, so it goes right behind the backs. So the cap of this bolt is behind the backs and it's centered uh, about in the center. Note, I didn't dial it, it in, uh, just visually check that it's okay. And how do you check it visually? You use the, these uh, uh, lines here and uh, see that they are about the same uh, distance from that line. So, yeah, it's center enough. <laughs> Uh, and I can also see when I now touched it that it uh, it's quite symmetric here. That's good. That's really, really good. It, uh, it's not in the center, but uh, well, it's center enough. <laughs> so now uh, nine millimeters and I won't take uh, very deep cuts. Uh, I think only uh, a half a millimeter at a time. And uh, when I'm reaching this uh, straight edge there, so that it uh, blends in, then I'm ready. That's, that's how I uh, see that it's ready. So now I will uh, zoom you nearer and uh, do this job. Well, uh, it went way better than I expected it to, uh, to go. Uh, first of all, uh, I noticed that uh, milling from there to here was not a very good idea because uh, it uh, tried uh, because of the backslash. The other way around, it was way easier. The backslash, uh, the forces were really consistent. 
uh, I mean that it uh, constantly tried to, uh, there was a facing force. Yeah, so let's see now, if I take it away from here, uh, it's a little bit warm for the first. Not washer, <laughs> intended piece, work piece. Well, yeah, I'll come now. Yeah, well, huh. of course, we have a lot of burr here, but the surface finish uh, here is really nice. Okay, so now let's do the other part. Uh, the same way. Well, yes, uh, this one succeeded as well. There was no trouble at all with, with this one. Okay, now well, let's take it out from here. This was tight, and it should be tight, really. Actually, it, uh, well, there is a thing, uh, if it loosens, uh, loosens, and uh, if I would have been milling from here to there, and if it would have been uh, like loosened, then it uh, might uh, spell a catastrophe. But this way, if it loosens, it just gives up and uh, stops milling. Nothing bad happens. Of course, uh, if it loosens, uh, it's not a good thing, but uh, nothing really catastrophic happens. Oh yeah, okay, let's see. Uh, I will show you something. There is one artifact that, uh, well, uh, it's a little bit, uh, I have, uh, in both of these, I have this artifact. Uh, this side is really nice, and this side, you can see, it's, uh, there is a, it's about a 0 0.25 millimeters uh, an edge there, but uh, uh, when I wire brush this, uh, nobody, gets the wiser. <laughs> so now what I will do for these, I will actually debur them and then I show you how they work with the, with the rest of the thing. So here it is now, deburred and uh, well, yeah, uh, not a beauty, <laughs> but it works really well. Actually, uh, it's a little bit, uh, if you rotate this, there is one spot that is, well, not really tight, but it means that uh, it's uh, just in the perfect, perfect place. Would it be tighter? It would be too tight. Would it be looser? 
Well, I don't know when it becomes too loose, but uh, at the moment, when you put grease into there, which is my intention, so then this uh, will be perfect, really. Uh, the grease takes some room there and it also makes it uh, more stable. And so now, this, and this is fully tightened, uh, this cap screw. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, these uh, align perfectly. I can, well, check it, but, uh, well, the next step will be to have some additional features on, on these. And uh, I'm uh, a little bit uh, thinking how to do this in a way that when you have uh, uh, the rolls here, of course I have in my picture, like there is a slot and a hole and then it's milled under so that uh, you can use the knurling wheel. So, but in order to them to become uh, like aligned with each other, it might be a good idea to have this uh, like uh, these two pieces together and uh, then uh, make first uh, like a s small slot here, which then which you then after that can use to align uh, the rest of the slot. Uh, I know what I, I'm going to use a, slit, uh, a slitting saw for that slot. I have one that creates a three millimeter slot. I can uh, and it's uh, uh, staggered uh, teeth uh, mm, slitting saw so that I can uh, also uh, mill sideways on that one. So it's uh, also like. Uh, 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 taking material on the sideways as well. And it's, uh, the diameter is quite small, so it uh, doesn't uh, bend too much. So, and uh, this is soft material. Uh, well, in, in my uh, world, this is really soft. This is hard, actually, this uh, pivoting point. It's, uh, that was this uh, uh, chromoly and uh, 4140 steel, this one. And these are like uh, crap steel, but they, they work. Well, next step will be uh, milling additional features on these. So now, this is a slitting saw. Uh, it's uh, three millimeters wide. And uh, well, my intention is to mill a slot uh, in both of these heads, uh, ends of these rods, uh, well, uh, 18 millimeters deep and uh, 6 millimeters wide groove. So what I have done here is uh, I have uh, touched, uh, first of all I attached it into the vise here and uh, leveled it uh, just uh, with the vise bottom, so it's level about level. And then uh, I also touched uh, the top of this and then I have risen the table like, uh, well, 18 millimeters. <laughs> and then I touched uh, with the side of the plate, uh, the back side of this, uh, these rods and moved it. Uh, uh, if I move it exactly 8 millimeters, then this side of the plate will be in the center line of this. Uh, and since this is a, a three millimeter wide uh, slitting, so it will create, a, well, a groove which is uh, <coughs> suitably sized uh, from the middle point from that direction, three millimeters. Then I just need to move it uh, three millimeters uh, this way. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, mill again. So then I will get a groove which is uh, well, 18 millimeters deep and 6 millimeters wide in the middle of these. And uh, since these are like uh, this, uh, the other groove here will become automatically al aligned uh, with, uh, with uh, so they are aligned. <laughs> uh, I make this groove uh, uh, 6.2 millimeters wide, a little bit wider than needed. So I didn't move it uh, like exactly uh, 8 millimeters. I have moved it a 7.9 millimeters. So this is uh, uh, not, this side is uh, 0 0.1 millimeters uh, before the center line. So now 
when I move it uh, this way, I move it a little bit over. And there should remain a very thin uh, 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 thing there under, which I then mill away separately. But uh, actually it is uh, 0 0.2 millimeters wide. Yeah, okay. So let's see how, what kind of sounds does it make. And uh, I think I will run this dry. Uh, uh, and there is a reason for this. Uh, if I put cutting oil here, it will actually uh, make the chips uh, like uh, attached to this blade. And I don't want that. So uh, maybe just run it dry. Okay, so I move you now a little bit nearer and then I will uh, mill this one and that one as well. Well, uh, it was far easier than I believed it to be. Let's see now if I uh, take it out from this vise. And then we compare. And yeah, they aligned perfectly. Or at least uh, good enough. Okay, then there is another thing, whether this uh, knurling wheel can be... Yeah. And it really uh, feels really good. Yeah. There is some play, but there should be a little bit of play. Yeah, okay. So now, the next step will be... Uh, well, uh, if you think this is aligned this way, so there will be a screw on the top. So this will now be the top one. So there will be an, uh, a similar slot in this one. So this way. This is a little bit exciting. Hopefully uh, this succeeds. Okay. Okay, now 
The next step here is to mill uh, races, maybe? <laughs> I don't know what's the correct name. The document says that uh, I had to mill three millimeters away from uh, this surface here. And uh, this diameter here, uh, from uh, here to there, is actually one millimeter thinner than measured from here to here. So it will not be three millimeters, it will, will be 2.5. So first I now will touch it. Uh, and uh, I have locked uh, the X direction a little bit. Now I will move it uh, uh, 2.5 millimeters. So that's one and that's two and that's 2.5. There you are. And now I just mill down by lifting the table. And this is... Uh, okay. And then this side, it's a very similar operation. Just go here. So now the knurling wheel, is it hot? No. It goes here and it uh, will be, it should be visible uh, on every, uh, let's see now. It might be that I need to, uh, with the bench grinder, take uh, this corner away from each of these. Let's see. Uh, this is because this was not a complete uh, ball, this end, so I probably, uh, that's the reason why I need to do that. So, yeah, but other than that, it's ready. And they re look really similar at the moment. Good. Uh, uh, okay, uh, now the next step is to uh, drill and ream a four millimeter hole on each of these. Uh, the placing uh, 
in this direction is not very critical. It should be about there, but it's not really critical. Uh, the height is also, well, it's somewhat critical, but, but nothing uh, that, if it now is, uh, let's say, uh, 0.1 millimeters aside, doesn't, uh, doesn't destroy the whole work. <laughs> because uh, the surface is, well, it's round. <laughs> So therefore I need to use end mill first on the other side. And this is a 6 mm, uh, it's not a 6 mm end mill, but the shank is 6 mm. And that's uh, one thing that I'm using here to locate this thing. So I actually don't put it very far in, inside that chuck. And uh, well, you shouldn't do it like this, but uh, well, hmm. <laughs> you you actually should put it uh, as far as uh, possible into there. But I need this shank now, so now I go here like this, and then I put the paper here in between. And uh, I move it until it crack, crap, grips. Uh-huh, that's a little bit too much. No. There you are. Now uh, it's uh, three millimeters away uh, from the side. So I take it here. So one, two, and three. And now we need to move uh, actually Four, four more millimeters here. So it's a total round here. Okay. Now it should be in the place where I should drill the hole. Huh, is it really? Doesn't look like that. No, it should be eight millimeters. So, <laughs> of course. Ah, so four more. Yeah. Ah, now it looks like that. Okay, there is my place. Then I get it done here. There you are. Okay. Then I can pull this away, like this. And now this one is also 8 millimeters. But this time I have to rise the table eight millimeters. No, eight plus three, 11 millimeters. So first three millimeters. So that was three millimeters. So now it should be, and it is. And then, then uh, eight millimeters more. So three, six, Seven, eight, there you are. And then we just make a dent here with this uh, round end mill. It's a round nose end mill. Like that. You didn't see it, but uh, there, there is now a very, very, very small dent uh, on the back side. Yeah, and, uh, this is uh, 3.7 millimeters, so it needs some additional. Okay, let's see. And uh, this is also a split point drill, so it shouldn't wander too much. Now it has a surface to run into. <laughs> let's see, this is uh, going to be fun. Second one. It's uh, 
as you can see, it looks as if it wouldn't be in the middle, but it is uh, because of this. It looks like that because of our our milling and the side. So now, four millimeter reamer. <laughs> That's the next step. This is quite enough, and this also needs cutting oil. Yeah. So now we are reaming this uh, 3.7 millimeter hole to 4 millimeters, and it will be quite quite exact after this one. Okay, now here we go. should have a very accurate hole there. Well, this is a pin. This is a pin from a, from a needle bearing. This should be quite exactly four millimeters. <laughs> it's really, it's very good fit. Uh, now I cannot get it out with my feet. Yes, I can barely. <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> some berry. Uh, uh, well, uh, this is a hardened pin, so yeah. And now uh, the next one. Uh, it's a very similar operation. Okay, so now, <laughs> uh, this is how it is now, uh, I placed uh, temporarily here these two knurling wheels and uh, yeah, I don't need to take any anything from that those corners, well maybe, but uh, they, or maybe I should because uh, now they are uh, quite sharp, so yeah, okay. So, uh, and that the, the fit of these pins is uh, really like tight. Uh, so, you can 
the inten oh intention was to take uh, have them this is especially tight hopefully it comes out. not yet uh, no 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 yeah so yeah so you can uh, actually well they are now tight these pins but uh, after some use uh, they will become uh, uh, looser That's oh I saw it <coughs> Ah. So it took a flight across the room, uh, the workshop. So this one then, no, it doesn't come out by her fingers. Yeah, okay. So you can get this out. Uh, I believe when I debur, really debur these holes and uh, when it has been used for a while, so then the pins slide in a little bit easier. And uh, these are hardened pins, uh, so, and uh, also the wheels are hardened, so uh, this, uh, this is the bearing surface here. So, because they both are hard, uh, there needs to be a really good lubrication between these two. Okay. So, the next step is to mill here. Well, uh, something where it's uh, <laughs> well a recess uh, with uh, 16 millimeter end mill, and it's very similar to the operation I made here. But this time I won't move it. I just uh, push it in so that there can be a 16 millimeter thing uh, inside there, and it's it will be eight millimeters deep. Oh well, that's. Uh, Quite simple. I'll come back when I have uh, set up uh, this mill for that operation. <coughs> okay, here we have a 16 millimeter end mill, and uh, it's quite long as you can see. But we are going to side mill here, a recess in which this 16 millimeter pin fits in, and it should go at least half the way. Uh, well, and I'm uh, re really running this slowly, and when, uh, yeah, uh, so, uh, and this is just milling by sight. I don't uh, measure this anyway, how deep I go here. Should I run it a little bit faster? Yes. A little bit faster. Um, like this. No, that's too fast. <laughs> that's absolutely too fast. Yeah, and now let's speed it up here. That's okay. So it's about uh, 130, 170 revolutions per minute. And now let's go. It made a, a little bit of uh, sounds I didn't like. Yeah, now it's better. Uh, let's lock this a little bit. Maybe I should use some cutting oil here, maybe. Yeah, let's put some there. It doesn't need a lot of it, but uh, nothing like fluid coolant, but uh, just to cut it. Uh, yeah, this was good.
Well, this is a little bit scary operation, actually. Yeah. Okay, more cutting oil. Okay, we are approaching, but it's uh, still not enough yet. Need to go a little bit deeper here. Oh yeah, that helps. The cutting oil really helps here. I can feel it because, yeah, I'm feeling this manually really. And now we are approaching the point where I should stop a little bit more, but not a lot. I think that's our, that's it. Now I test with the pin that it fits into there, it should, but you never know. Yeah, it's actually very good. Uh, it's a little bit loose, but uh, it can be a little bit loose. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Then we have... One more feature, and then uh, these arms are uh, done. Uh, I'll set up the mill for that one, and uh, then we do that as well. Well, <coughs> this is the last operation uh, for these arms. Uh, last detail. Uh, uh, this is a. It used to be 11 millimeter. Uh, Ball, ball nosed end mill, but uh, it's a regrind and I measured it and it's uh, actually 10.5 millimeters at the moment. I'm lucky with this one, this is uh, a ball bearing 10.5 millimeters. Wow. So uh, I just push it uh, into there and uh, by raising the table here. So let's go. This is uh, a little bit like, yeah, really, <laughs> hopefully it goes. And this also just needs to be deep enough. Uh -huh. It's sort of... Uh, I think it needs uh, cutting oil, this one, as well. Yeah. I don't know how deep I should make it. Let's see how it looks. Well, it's, uh, I think it's quite near, actually, uh, what it should be. It's a definite mistake to make this too, too deep. Uh, it should be just suitably deep. So let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, man. 
Well, we need to put something like uh, four millimeters more, I believe. Uh, so let's go up first. There you go. There we go. Ah, makes horrific sounds actually. This might not be a good idea. That's enough. Yeah, now it looks really good. <laughs> Let's see. The ball should go deep enough into there without the chips, of course. I have some soap air here. Oh, yes. Yeah, now it looks perfect. It's like that. And it's exactly good. Uh, there is no play in it. Very good. Yeah, like that. There you are. Yeah. That was the last detail. Of course I need to debur all these and uh, etc. But uh, that's, that's just uh, deburring. So, uh, well, uh, I think I did uh, promise to do the tensioning mechanism uh, this, this time. Well, I lied. <laughs> uh, it will be in the next episode. Uh, as well as uh, we are going to try out the knurling tool in the next episode. And the reason why I lied is that I don't have the the uh, drawings yet for this tensioning mechanism. So uh, I will uh, now draw it. I once I know how to do it, so then I will uh, draw. It. Huh. Uh, okay. Um, and by the way, uh, the drawings they are all available in my Google Drive. The link is in the description. You can uh, fetch them uh, for home from there as uh, these drawings become ready. Uh, so, till next epi episode. Bye bye!